<laughs> well, good morning to you. <laughs> good morning to you. Uh, happy, happy celebration of Juneteenth. Happy celebration of Juneteenth. This is a big one for us. Yes. Very big. Yeah. Uh, well, for those who are here who may know, uh, we'll give them a little fresher refresher. But for those who are maybe joining us for the first time and celebrating Juneteenth, possibly for the first time, mm -hmm. let's share some information about Atlantic Street Center oh, sure. and who Atlantic Street Center is. How long you've been in existence? 120 something plus years? Well, or? not quite, but 114. 114. 114 okay, let me years. let you tell it. Well, thank you, Tony. <laughs> um, for 114 years, we've uh -huh. been in the youth serving space. Uh, we started here in Seattle, right in this central district. Uh -huh. And we were started by some nurses and teachers who are also deaconesses in the United Methodist Church. So okay. faith oriented, but community centric. Mm -hmm. um, over the years, we've evolved, uh, certainly grounded in the social justice space. So I had, and we serve uh, kids through four programs right now. Our big one is behavior health. Mm -hmm. We behavior health. Behavior health. We have counselors. Okay. We do something also very unique called gaming therapy. People aiming. Gaming therapy. Gaming therapy. People say, "What? You're using games to actually help kids talk about their social emotional okay. needs." Yes, and it's thriving. Wow. So we have traditional therapy, we, but we do everything in the counseling space in the community. Okay. So we don't have traditional couches per se. Mm -hmm. We go where the community is. So wow. whether it's the school, the park bench, mm -hmm. the community center like here, mm -hmm. we we go out there and we really touch those kids' lives and okay. help them. So, so yeah. you keep going. You mentioned four. Yeah, so that's number one. Number uh -huh. two is youth development. Youth development. Youth development and educational supports, that's another big one. Mm -hmm. We work um, by providing after school support, academic support, mm -hmm. even professional development enrichment. Mm -hmm. We have a intensive summer academy program, so like summer camp with exploration, mm -hmm. as well as again, that academic support, really helping kids get ready for the next school year. Um, but youth development also wraps around the family. So we do support uh, teens who may be parents. Okay. We also support the other end of the spectrum, which is elders who are raising those yeah, kids. Yeah, so our kinship care program is really well known and, and supported. Um, but that's number two. Number three is early learning. Uh -huh. And this is a big year for us because for 20 years, we've been part of the National Parent Child Plus program in our early learning services. And, and, and that's pretty much, I'm not going to say from the beginning, but when I became engaged with early education, that's when things really started to grow. And yeah. uh, this concept of early education and yes. uh, higher learning, early, higher quality early education, and the importance of sharing the information with parents that they are their first and most important teachers. Right. You've said it right of, on the of the child. Yeah, yeah. And, and I won't get too wonky with it, but we had the science to know that 85% of the brain development is concluded by the time a child is three years old. So those early years are critical yes. and important. That is true. And you know, we do our services in a way where we can go into the homes mm -hmm. and we can model the reading and we can model the, the, the learning play sort of engagement. Um, while providing additional supports to the families themselves. So that's yeah. pretty powerful stuff. Yeah. And we're able to do that um, with the help of United Way of King County and the state and the city and now BSK and the county level. So, um, but the last area is a newer area for us. Okay. Uh, it's gender-based violence. Gender? Gender-based based violence. Violence. Starting off a little bit in the domestic violence space. Okay. Recognizing survivors who uh -huh. need supports. And the supports can be therapeutic. Um, we do have uh, bilingual therapists that, that do uh, advocacy. Uh, homelessness prevention comes big through here because you're trying to help people rehouse safely wow. and securely. Um, and then additional safety and protective measures. We partner with others to ensure that families know how to discreetly, yet with pride, yes. take care of themselves and their yeah. kids. And that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Discreetly, but with pride. Yes. I like the way you put that, because that, yes. that is a big deal, and that is important mm -hmm. to those um, who are being impacted and afflicted by those things. Wow. Yeah, and yeah. In, 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 you know, in certain communities, certain cultures, we just don't talk about yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, we try to make it okay to not only talk about, mm -hmm. to get the support you need to do something yes. and survive. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, those are our four programs. Okay, so once again, we are broadcasting live from Rainier Beach Community Center celebrating Juneteenth, Atlantic Street Center's 23rd annual celebration, the longest running. Uh, you can keep looking around, paying attention to the booze and everything. For those of you who are joining us on the broadcast, Dr. Terry, one more again, let's talk about those four pillars because I want to make sure folks understand Atlantic Street Center offers the amazing holistic wrap around services, right. put your arms around the whole community in a number of different ways. Yes, so uh, we went, but we're going to do it one more again. What are those four All right. pillars? All right. Number one, behavior health. Behavior health. Number two, youth development. Youth development. Number three, early learning. Early learning. Number four, gender-based violence. Gender-based violence. But then there are subcontexts within each of those oh, because yeah. you you mentioned the kinship care program and and so so there's a lot more to where can folks go to find out more information about atlantic street oh Center? certainly uh you can visit our website um at www.atlanticstreetcenter.org um we have qr codes uh we're on social media okay facebook instagram linkedin for folks who want to make some professional connections with us as well okay uh, but our website but also uh from our website you can find a uh, info number and info email and just call us and or email that info at atlantastreetcenter.org and We'll get right back to you and point you in the right direction. We have a, a great day. Atlantic Street Center has a great day. We're going to be broadcasting a great day of events, performances, a number of different things going on today. Um, Dr. Terry, do you want to uh, share a little bit of information about what's going to be happening the rest of the day today? Um, I, if I had a schedule. I have the schedule in okay. my head and here. But let me okay. tell you, it's going to be robust <laughs> today. So hopefully folks will come on down. We've got, um, we have some people who've been with us throughout the decades okay. and 23 years. They've come back to help um, as vendors here. Uh, but I want to note that we have some new friends. All right. And they are here to help All make right. this day fantastic. <laughs> we have um, a sh uh, performance coming up from I Build Bridges. Oh, yes. And, you know, they rock it out with these young artists who are mm -hmm. so talented, but they're motivational in the sense of bringing people of different cultures yeah. together. Mm -hmm. I Build Bridges. Shout but, out to Edward Omendosa. Yes, yeah, my he's guy. here. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we have newer vendors. We have some small businesses selling their, you know, crafts and goods. We have We Hearts Seattle here. Yeah. And you know, they're trying to keep the city clean and redirect folks to needed support some you know, social services. So yes. it's good to see them here and I'm glad they could make it. I, I would love to list everyone. If, but if you're coming down, there's vendors galore down here. If you're yes. sitting at home watching this, come down to Rainier and Henderson in the amphitheater at the Rainier Beach Community Center. There's incredible vendors here. I see clothing and candles and scented things and healthcare and financial and it's just everything, everything. <laughs> that's right <laughs> everybody we can get we grab them because it is for the community these are yeah. resources even i love buying stuff so merle the art lady is going to see me she's put me on a budget this year but i love supporting black businesses i love supporting businesses of color and i love the fact that we all can come together in this space okay and really help each other thrive that's really what it's all about uh, uh. at the end of the day okay so stop. talk talk a little bit more about what we've got going on today uh, yeah, we've got, in addition to I Feel Bridges, who's going to start us off today, uh, we have some performances here. Um, we are lucky that we're going to have Congressman Adam Smith with us for a minute All today, right. too. So that's going to be very informative to talk about some of the community agendas that you see from Yes, and, and, I'm, and, and I'm going to amplify that. Those folks who are elected officials uh, are critical oh, to... Yeah what happens in our communities and they are elected by you and held accountable by you so uh make sure that uh you listen to uh, uh senator adam smith um and uh uh yeah whatever the things are that are going on in your community i'm gonna say take this opportunity to share those thoughts yeah. with your publicly elected official yeah you know and he's anyway. taking it all the way to dc so he's yeah. a congressman with this <laughs> one thing i don't want to forget this year is extra, extra special for us because uh -huh. um the mayor and parks and rec invited atlantic street center to be part of the greater and greener conference uh -oh. seattle was selected greater and greener has been happening year after year yes. celebrating public spaces celebrating 
what we're doing, nonprofits, business community in those public spaces. Yeah. Today, we do expect a group coming through who are on the 2024 Greater and Greener Tours. Okay. And they should come through and participate and be part of the activity. So we want to welcome them. And we also are very grateful to the City of Seattle for allowing us to be part of the Greater and Greener Tour. Um, so I did want to mention that. And I guess the last thing I'll mention is that Two years ago, we started um, the annual Legends Award. Yes. And if you recall, um, well, last year we recognized the Dixon brothers. Um, the Elmer and Aaron. That's right. And Seattle, the founders of the, the Seattle, Seattle Black Panther Party, which did incredible and amazing things like starting the free breakfast program, which is now an institution. Yes. That did not exist. Yeah. It was started by the Seattle Black Panther Party, uh, Elmer and Aaron Dixon. Now it's all over the country. Yes. But early in, in 1968, they understood that if we do not feed our kids in the morning, then they are not ready to learn. So shout out to the Seattle Black Panther Party, yes, Elmer indeed. and Aaron. Yes. Council member Larry Gossett. Larry Gossett, one of the four. Uh, one again. Oh, did yeah. a <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love Amazing it. things. An icon in our community. This is just incredible. Oh, okay, go ahead. And Eddie Rye. Don't forget and Eddie Rye. Eddie Rye Jr., uh, critical in the renaming of this street over here called Martin Luther King Way. It wasn't always Martin Luther King Way. It was called Empire Way. And having this fairway named Martin Luther King Jr. Way, which because it went straight through at the time the black community. And then it also connected to the freeway. So there was a lot of folks who were opposed to this. And we now have our MLK yes, way. And Mr. Rye has done a number of incredible things. Just so, uh, wonderful that you have mm -hmm. started this process of Legacy Wars acknowledging heroes from our community. Well, and this year we're going to up the ante. We have five awardees, but you have to wait for that. Um, okay. <laughs> and when we get to that part of the program, we're going to honor some really wonderfully impactful community members today. All right. Yeah. All right. That's our day. That's a lot. So okay. Come on down. Well, I know uh, 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 Eduardo and I Build Bridges are going to be performing. Oh, a few more minutes. Yeah. In, 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 in open a, it up in, here. In a few and, more minutes. Yeah. So we are going to uh, thank you again. Uh, Dr. Terry, um, just just really quickly because we didn't do this, and you know I love to do this. Just share a little bit about your background. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> I was just telling one of our visitors here. They're like, "Yeah, how long have you been in Seattle? You right over there." <laughs> I said, "Wow, it seems like ten years." But actually, it was May 2021, right in the middle of the pandemic. I'm a Chicago native. Okay. Um, but lived 20 years out on the East Coast. Um, the thing that's so remarkable is that when I was recruited for this role you know you have it in your head it's going to do this it's going to be the boss and i'm like no i want to be a leader i want to be part of people growing mm -hmm. and i'm getting that so it was worth a move from the east coast i identify though as an atlantic street center kid because i grew up in the cabrini green housing projects of chicago yeah. and all this love and all the support you were talking about today in the early days that's what helped me and inspired me to be my best peeler all right yeah, yeah. all right Full day coming up for you once again. For those of you who are here, continue uh, to walk around, talk to folks, get to know folks, uh, check out the vendor booths. Uh, we are going to be having a um, musical performance here for you very shortly. Uh, keep it right here for those of you who are watching and you can come down, come on down if you're watching, if you're in another district, if you're somewhere around the state or somewhere around the world, you are not going to want to miss the longest running celebration of Juneteenth in this city. It's put on every year, 23 years now, by Atlantic Street Center. I'm going to turn you over to DJ Smooth T. All right. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. <laughs>